if I do this, it'll keep the door open for a second. And now we have a, an automatic way to open the doors. Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 Vanilla! We are now on episode 32. So the last episode guys we went into a different town and we found a load of western buildings and we had a good old loot of that little area because uh, I wanted to go and check out a few buildings and get some things for concrete mix so that we can go ahead and reinforce the rest of our base. Now I do have concrete in the works right now um, so hopefully by the end of uh, this episode we should have enough to go ahead and upgrade our base because as you can see um, it's getting very close to the day 21 horde um, so yeah that's gonna be very cool so now uh, what I'm gonna head and do guys is now that we've got our um, stuff for our entrance uh, or now we've got a better shovel and stuff I'm gonna start uh, working on our entrance area because we kind of need to do that because you know I wanted to build this entrance and you know I set it up on day 7 and I haven't really touched it since uh, which is you know kind of not that good so I need to go ahead and see if I can get this resolved and and make myself a little entrance into uh, our base. So yeah, no more will I have to keep coming into a silly, a silly entrance where I've got to like jump over everything uh, and try and make my way inside the base and stuff. That, that's going to be, you know, that's kind of a, a silly way to do it. I want to work on some actual entrance so that we can have a proper way to get into the base, right? So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be what I aim to work on uh, in this episode, guys. So that's what we're going to be doing. So now that I can go ahead and very easily break up all this um, stuff in the ground here with my shovel. And because we need tons more clay as well, by the way, we actually need quite a bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much start digging this out, because this will give me all the clay I need. Um, and I think we're actually at a gravel layer right here as well, but it looks as things, so there could be some gravel here. Alright, now I hear a zombie outside. And you know what? I need to go ahead and use my frames to jump up here. So there is a Z outside, and I want to see where they're at. So let's turn this off real quick. I'm going to put some frames down. Okay, and let's see if I can spot where the zombie may be. So, I think they're in the base. Sounds like they are. Where they are? Is that a radiator one? Oh, no, it's not. It's just you. Okay, we got you. How's this do? Stay there, stay there, stay there. Nice! How did she even get in? I have no idea how this lady even got in, but yeah, she's uh, she's gone. I don't know if she was feral or not, but yeah, one shot, down she went. That was awesome. Um, okay, you know what we're actually going to need? I need to make some ladders for down in the base as well, don't I? Um, and I also probably need to continue melting up iron in this forge, as well as clay, because we're going to need a lot of this. So yeah, I've dug out a little clay, as you can see, and we need to go ahead and keep going with this and produce more forged iron, because I want to try and upgrade my bars to iron bars as soon as, po as, soon as possible. So yeah, getting all that sorted is going to be good. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now I can turn this on again. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else out there we can see, because, you know, i got a good old 8x scope here. So maybe we can see if there's anyone, like, in the trees or anything. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think we're okay. And I think the, f the fox's forest is uh, free of zombies. So that's good. Let's go and have a quick look over here. No one over there. See, so we're kind of, like, in a cliffy area right here, so it's not too bad. Uh, I don't see anything too exciting around here. No, it looks like we're actually pretty good. Now, one thing I'm going to check, though, is how my generators are doing on their fuel, because I need to double-check that they have everything they need. So in here, we have... Yeah, this guy has got, like, 992. Yeah, these have all got, like, 992, because they've literally just been running... They've just been running on a couple of bits of fuel here, um, just to try and... just to keep the switch powered, but that's literally it, so we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is awesome. Uh, actually, do I have more frames as well? because I might need those to go ahead and build with. So let's go and see what we can do here. So in here we have additional frames, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, yeah, here we go. There's some additional frames right here. So let's go and grab those. And I guess the catwalk as well might be nice, as well as these wood plates. Yeah, let's grab all those things. Um, oh, and considering we've already got some wood ladders here, let's go and just grab them. Because I need to have some ladders to get me down into the little bit down here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and... Uh, tear this down and yeah three ladders should then definitely be enough to get down the bottom because we don't need the bottom ladder in to be able to jump up so let's go and do that so we can go one two i think even two will be enough right to get up here kind of but then it kind of prevents you from colliding but yeah if you have three it will be 
an easy entrance up okay so yeah we can upgrade those um in due course but yeah i need to go ahead and uh, pretty much make my way out of here and start digging over to the river or the, to the lake because that's where i want my entrance to be. i want like a lakeside entrance which might have um some kind of turret in there or something so we'll have a power system set up to deal with zombies out there um and eventually when we get like a turret we can go ahead and use that but yeah that's gonna be pretty cool i think maybe some powered doors with a camera that only opens if I'm there um, then a pressure plate on the other side because we did get some security cameras so it might be nice to try out some of those doors just to see how they work because that'd be pretty cool but yeah right now I need to dig I need to expand this one by one into what is essentially a nine by nine area so that's what I'm going to do right now we're going to work on that first get that all expanded out and maybe it's going to be even wider once once I'm done with it so we'll have to see how it goes um, because yeah, the way I want to do it is kind of like a pipe, um, have like a kind of concrete pipe kind of thing going on down here, which I think will look really cool. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in just a sec, but for now let's go ahead and just do what I'm thinking, like this, and then we'll, uh, I'll just, I'll show you what I'm thinking in just a bit. So let's go and do this first, and then let's get to here, so this should take me very close to where I need to be. But yeah, it's honestly looking like there's a ton of gravel down here, uh, and yeah, it looks like there is gravel here. So I'm not sure if this is like a mining spot as well, which would be, I mean, if it is, that'd be pretty cool, but I haven't seen any minerals here yet, so that's uh, something that I'd have to look into, but there we go, and then we're going to go here. Okay, so let's dig this out, dig this out, and if it is a mining spot, I will dig out one more layer because then I can get extra gravel and sand, which is going to be very handy later on as well. Okay, so let's go and first we'll dig this out, and this one. And then this one. Alright, so let's go and dig these guys out. And then we should be able to again make our way across here. And then we can start a bit of a, a build going on here to see how it's going to look. So yeah, I'm looking forward to actually finally uh, making this entrance in the dark. Now, I don't think we're going to get much done on it because, you know, I want to go out and do other things when the day arrives. And, you know, test out my uh, marksman rifle as well. I think that's to be pretty nice because now I've got a silencer on it. We should be able to use it as a sneaky weapon. Which can be really nice. And I think it does high enough damage that it can be very, very useful. So yeah, that's going to be really nice if we can use that for sneak attacks. But for now, let's go ahead and just dig all this out. And then we'll, I guess, work on a, a basic build and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got these guys. And then take these all out. So yeah, we'll do it all in wood for now and then we'll upgrade it later. Because, you know, upgrading it is easier in one in one big go rather than like do a little bit upgrade it do another little bit upgrade it upgrading it is usually easier in one big go but i definitely need to get this entrance done um, as soon as possible now it doesn't have to be a riverside entrance but i think it will make it easier on hold nights because then the zombies are less likely to attack it um which will make it far easier all right here we go and this one Okay, so we're getting there slowly. How much do I have here? Yeah, see, look, 2100 clay from doing this. So we're going to get a ton of clay from doing this, which is going to be really useful for later. So let's go ahead and just dig as much out as we can here, and we should be good. But yeah, the gravel is going to be useful if we can get that uh, dug out. Especially because that'll be very handy when it comes to making the floor. Because if we can make the floor with the gravel here... That's going to be awesome. Okay, here we go. Two. Three. And we're almost there. Let's go ahead and just finish this bit off, and we should be good. Alright, so that's that. And then one last little bit. Well, two last little bits here. And then we are now level, and then we should be able to start slowly but surely digging our way along. So how far away am I outside the base right now? Um, okay, so at this point I'm kind of just on the outer wall, so I haven't made it that far, but it's morning! Yeah, I haven't made it that far, but eventually I will. I will get out of there. But for now, I just want to test this out with the design that I've got in mind. So I think what we're going to do is we get our frames, and then every... So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a series of frames like this. So every 5 along, we're going to have a series of frames that does this. So it's going to be, well, technically it's kind of like six, but you know what I mean. So six, six, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need to take one more to kind of complete the section. So let's dig another another nine area, if I can kind of straighten up a bit. There you go. So let's go and dig out this lot. It'll be much more helpful when I have an auger. Looks like, there's, uh, looks like that was an iron block right there, but I think that's just the, the colouring of the dirt. Yeah, it is. Made it look like iron for a minute. 
Okay, so let's do this. There, yep. There we just have to take all that out, and that's that. Alright, so those nine blocks are now out. Yep, looks so good. And then we can go ahead and do these guys, and then these guys. Okay, so this is like every five, we're going to have this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our shape. And then we're going to select the arch shape. Because um, we haven't done much with arches right now. And then what we're going to do with the arches is we're going to have them... Let's see, no, not that way. they got to be that way. And the arches are going to come across here. Like this. And then we're going to come this way. And this one. There you go. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that one. Uh, what did I do there? Oh, I must have picked out the wrong arch. There we go. Just pick that one up, pick that one up, and then pick it here. All right, there we go. So now we got some some archway supports, and it's like a this is some kind of pipe. If you, if you see that, yeah, that's pretty cool. So then, if we add these other ones, um, let's go and do this one. Oh, hang on. No, I want advanced rotations. There we go. And this one. There you go, that's going to go along three. And we need to do this way. Excellent, and then we're just going to go and continue this down here. And then one more here. Excellent, and that will lead us to there. And as you can see now, we've got a uh, what looks like a piping system going under the entire base here. Which I think is actually looking rather nice. Yeah, that's nice. So then what we can do is, what I'm, what I'm planning to do is, in these side sections here, we can have some bars, right? So in this bit and this bit, for example, in these sections, we could have, if I go ahead and just get a regular wood frames back for a minute. So there you go. So what I was thinking of doing is having like a, um, in the middle sections here, we'd have a wood bar here and a wood bar here and then a door right here. So this one would be filled in like this. Hang on a sec. So that would be filled in there, that would be filled in here, and that would be filled in there. And then if I make some bars real quick, let's get the centered bars. So wood bar centered. So I need six of these. So let's go and make some of those. They don't take too long to make. And then we could position these guys like this right actually no wait are we gonna want the center ones no we're not it's not the center ones we want the edge ones so scrap those just get the regular with us because centered won't line up with the doors now I think about it so yeah we don't want those we just want the regular regular old wood bars so that's what we're gonna do so regular old wood bars can go like this so what we can do then we can do one to, yeah, because that lines up nicer with the wall as well. So I think that's a, I think that's a better choice. Three, four, and then here five and six. And then what we can do is we can get some we can get some powered doors. Um, there's secure wood doors. There's rolling garage door. Um, See, so yeah, there's vault door three. So yeah, there's powered garage doors. Uh, what does that require? That requires powered doors and bridges or advanced engineering. Okay, and then it's going to be like vault door O three powered is going to be what we want to hit. What we want to use. Uh, and that requires 44 steel each. But yeah, what I, what I intend to happen is um, we have like some doors here that get powered either via a camera on this side or when we step on a pressure plate over this side. So then it'll be a one-way it'll be a one-way system for us coming this way, but a two-way system for zombies coming back out this way, which I think would be really cool. Because um, that way then we can ensure that only we can come into the base and that the zombies cannot. Uh, and then the cameras, what I'm thinking is going to be under the ground with some bars, like pointing upwards is what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the idea that I have for the entrance and how it's going to work. Um, but for now, that's pretty much all I got, right? So yeah, we need to kind of think about how we want to do that. Um, and can I make the sensors already? Or do I need a... Um, yeah, I can already make motion sensors, see? So I can make those. Uh, just requires some forged iron. So yeah, that's not actually too hard to make, which is really good. So let's go and grab my concrete mix, because the next thing I need to do is um, go outside the base and upgrade what we can with the concrete mix that we just have here. So it's going to get... Um, I think I already have a claw hammer on me, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to head outside the base, upgrade everything I can, 
because I kind of need to do that. And that should be good. Okay, jump out here. And yeah, we're going to go and upgrade. We need to upgrade all these bits here first. There you go. And then this one. And of course we need to repair any cobblestone that has been damaged. Because, you know, that's going to be kind of a priority. And then what we want to do is pretty much after we've done that... Man, come on, you can... Why are you not letting me repair? It's just cool having it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool having it sometimes. Um, it's not like to repair through grass, so you might have to just remove said grass from those areas, and then we should be fine. Okay, oh. Can I repair that? No, I can't. Okay. Requires scrap iron. Okay, that's fine. But for now, yeah, we're going to go ahead and come along here and upgrade all these things. At least. Because I, I at least want this bit to be concrete, right? Not reinforced concrete, just regular concrete should be fine. There you go. This one. This one and this one. There you go, and then this one. Nice. Um, and then we want to start working our way down here. Um, and then come this way. So that's already been concreted. So we have some concrete proof that that is fine. <laughs> uh, see, that's already concrete right there. Uh, and then we come this way. Okay, so we need to start from this side. So again, take out this um, random piece of grass. Okay, the barbed wire we're taking out accidentally, which I don't want to do, so let's just pretend that it doesn't exist and keep going. Okay, you know what? Let's just say solid and come in here. Just to make it a lot easier. We just come right to the inside and just say, okay, there's barbed wire there, but solid, we'll just step in it anyway, because we're real men. And then we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay. Sounds good to me. So let's upgrade all this here. And then we're going to go this one. And then we're just going to upgrade everything we can on the outside. And hopefully this will have time to dry before the horde decides to come in. Oh, don't upgrade that one though. That's already dried. That's concrete. And I think a regular concrete layer will be fine. Now what we want to do is probably start setting up some grenades as well. That's going to be nice. Because grenades are always fun. You guys know this. Grenades are, like, mega fun. Uh, you know, we can blow ourselves up with them, but we probably we probably won't if we're careful. Oh, we didn't even upgrade that little bit right there. Okay. So we can go here. I wonder if we can actually access our cement mixers from here. We could if we could, but yeah, at least we're getting to repair as well as we're going around here and see what's been damaged and what's not been. Yeah, so that has been damaged a little bit. There you go. And this one, this one, this one. And we can just work our way around here. As we go, and we should be good. And this one. Right, can I get it from here? No. I cannot get it from here, but I can check which one of these has been damaged and not. Should we get well you know we should be able to access these from inside the base anyway, right? Because at this point here, we can just make our way straight in. So yeah, we you know we should be able to get there from inside. So that should be right. Uh, let's come out here. There you go. So I can hear my generator running as well. But yeah, we're gonna have the electric fences working again. That should be pretty cool. We should be able to mainly save them off for this night as well. Cool. And then jump up here, and then we're in. Alright. So yeah, now we're down here, I can at least upgrade this to wood as well. Um, there you go. So let's go and upgrade all these to wood at least. And I'll work on just one section at a time. And then eventually we'll upgrade this to better stuff. But for right now, that's all I want to do is just get it upgraded to wood. Alright, that's that upgraded to it, then come out this way. Oh, we need to do this bit too. Can't forget that bit. And there we go. And then this one, this one, this one. There we go, and this one. Oh, and I've not even done these bits here. Why I haven't done it, I don't know, because we're going to need to do it anyway. There we go. And I will do this one. Excellent, so we can now upgrade all this to wood here. Nice little chunk of XP, and then we're going to come back this way. And then upgrade all this to wood again. So yeah, it's going to take a long time to get this all uh, updated. I'll just do these two together. And yeah, we can get some lights down here and stuff, and that'd be pretty cool. Just like have it light up as we run along, I think it'd be a really cool little feature. Okay, here we go. And then that one, and that one, then that one. 
and then come out this way. Excellent, and then we'll go back this way, and that'll be everything kind of finalised for this little section here. Awesome, so then we, we're done, that one, and then finally just come over here, and that's it. One last layer, and we're done. Okay, so we've got five, four, three, two, one. Base self-destruction sequence initiated. Wait, what? Um, okay, so that's everything done there, and that's looking pretty nice, actually. So yeah, we'll have, like, um, yeah, what I'm kind of planning to have then is, as I said, as we go, is, like, some lights here or a camera uh, on this side or underneath that looks directly upwards, sees the player, and then lets the door open so that we can go through. Um, well, the, the camera, sorry, will be here. And it will see the door and open, and we'll be able to they'll be able to pass straight through it. Um, so yeah, that's what that's probably what's going to happen. There'll be a, there'll be some bars. I think there'll there'll be bars under here. So we're going to have to dig out some more layers to make this um, better. But for right now, I think this is good enough for the moment, right? Because yeah, what I want to be able to do is like if the zombies do manage to break in here, is like stand back in here uh, and kind of just be able to mince them as they come through. Yeah, so having kind of like a security hole um, is going to be what I'm kind of going for. Which I think would be pretty fun. I think that would be a pretty fun little build to try and do. Uh, right, so the next thing I need to do is get these gunpowders. Uh, is unpack them. Uh, so open. I'm going to be 3,000 gunpowder. And we're going to make a little of grenades. Because you know, grenades are fun. Uh, so yeah, let's go and do that. So grenades require springs. Now, how many springs do they have? 95 springs. Oh, yes. There we go. So that's, that's going to be good. Now, I think they only require one spring each. And we have 456 forged iron right here. And we have no wood in said forge. So let us remedy said situation of said forge. And add said wood to said forge of said situation of said remedy nece method necessary. Excellent. And then forge iron can then will therefore be produced in said manner. I, I, I think I think I got all that. Okay, we, we got all that. We, we, we're clear. We're clear. Good. Uh, let's go and grab this slot and then keep adding iron to this thing. And keep adding iron and clay as we go. And then I should be able to make some grenades on here. So let's go and do that. So grenades. Grenade ammo requires... Oh, it requires mechanical parts. So yeah, it's one spring, four forged iron, gunpowder. They require 14 gunpowder each and a mechanical part each. Okay, so mechanical parts we have like a ton of, so that's there we go. Um, let's go and get that. So grenade ammo. There we go. That's going to take 95 of them. Oh, we can get 95. Look at that. So it's going to only take... Well, wow, that's not going to take that much at all. Cool. Okay. Done. I'll go ahead and uh, get those queued and then we should have enough for everything I need to do later. Okay, so we can go and grab forged iron as well um, and then start upgrading some of these into forged iron as well because we're definitely going to need to do some upgrades on these. See I'm just literally trying to upgrade anything I can right now. So there's 10 there and that's what we can do. Well, all that and I can upgrade 10. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to need to do thinking about it is we're going to have to upgrade all this to cobblestone at some point. Let's harvest these mushrooms real quick. There's six more mushrooms there. Uh, yeah, one thing we're going to have to do is upgrade all this to cobble as well. Because right now, if a grenade hits this, it's just going to wreck the wood. Right? So that's something I don't want to happen. Um, and the other thing is, if we have a grenade here, it's going to wreck the lights. So grenades should be, I think, they're going to be more of a last ditch kind of effort, just in case. They're going to be like a just in case kind of thing. But we're going to upgrade this to cobblestone if we can. Or at least get the wood in. And then we'll upgrade it to cobblestone later. So yeah, while my concrete's producing, we can be working on this. Which should hopefully help me level up as well. So yeah, I just wish I had a nail gun. Because that would be definitely the most useful thing that I could get right now. Yeah, all these materials were being produced though. It um, is definitely making for some good upgrading things. But yeah, we can actually upgrade the base from inside here as well. Which is nice. So I can see all these blocks... I'll just go ahead and do that, see? That makes it that makes it slightly easier. There you go. So we've got all these guys. We did go all the way around the front, so I think we're, we're kind of almost done with this. We just have to do the other sides here, and then we're done. There's like two more sides to go, and that's it. And we should have all the concrete produced by the time we're ready to do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to have a decent setup base here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm pretty confident. Um, so yeah, now you got to work on this side, and then just keep going around here. Yeah, concrete is definitely the way to go when it comes to upgrading because it gives you a ton of XP. Like, a lot of it. Trust me, the amount is amazing. I wonder how much um, steel gets you, though, because that's one thing I do want to look at, is how much um, a steel upgrade will net you in terms of the XP amount. 
I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be quite a lot. Why don't we try some? Let's see. Yeah, so concrete gives you like 500 or so. Which is not bad, but I do have a ton of forged steel in here. Yeah, see, I upgrade 31 of these. Nice. So maybe I'll upgrade the corners here. So reinforced concrete can turn to steel. And that gives you 360. Wow. Okay, that's a... That's a good chunk of XP. So yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll work on the corners here. I'll upgrade all the corners of the base to steel. Oh, now that looks up really nice and quick. Look at that. Nice. We have one skill point to spend. Okay, so what are we going to spend that on? So, perception. We could do it on one of these, I guess. But yeah, we wanted to go up the agility tree, didn't we? We wanted to start working up this so I could work on things like... Um, yeah, definitely things like hidden strike and things like that. And from the shadows. So yeah... Uh, yeah, so hide and shadows things from effectively uh, noises from actions are muffled ten percent and sneak movement is ten percent faster. Yes, this allows me to move faster. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to work on this. So I think we're going to go three into this one. Um, so yeah, bows now have more of a dismemberment chance, which is very nice. Um, so that means I can now get archery two and reload faster. So yeah, now now we've got this, we should be able to like perk up a little bit better. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and upgrade. This lot here, just to get a little bit of the steel used up. But yeah, as you can see, a very impressive amount of steel. A very impressive amount of steel can be used here to upgrade everything that we want to, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go and do this side. Or as much of it as we can, I guess. I should have enough to do all four sides in this kind of manner. And that. Uh, there you go. Wow, it's already leveled us up like an eighth of level. And this is a pretty late game as well, like, in terms of where we are. But I think Day 21 is... I would class Day 21 as, like, mid-game, I guess, but we're already kind of progressing to late-game zombies of what we're seeing. There's a lot of radiated ones and stuff, so I can always upgrade everything I want. So that's pretty good. I'll leave it at that for now. Um, and that should be fine. Uh, right, so I wonder if I can make steel tools, though. I really wonder if there is a steel tool schematic. Um... Yeah, steel shovel. That can only be unlocked by a steel tool schematic, so... Yeah, I don't know where you can find those. Very durable and the ideal tool for digging through earth, sand or snow. Um, scrap the steel tool parts. Yeah, so I do need steel tool parts for that, and I need 12 of them. That's quite a lot, and 25 for steel. Um, yeah, I wish I could have a steel shovel, because I, I would literally one-shot everything, uh, and that would make stuff go a lot faster. So why don't we kind of work on the design I want for the... Um, other stuff though, because that'd be pretty good. So yeah, 23 grenades there. I wonder how much they stack in. They like they stack in 50s or, or what? I have no idea. Um, okay, let's put the rest of the gunpowder in here though. I definitely don't need that on me. And uh, let's take out some more 762s here. I got a good amount of 762s as well, so if we need them, we've got them right there. I do have Molotovs, pipe bombs as well, and a shotgun as well. Yeah, we got we we're doing pretty good here. So I think we're gonna be fine on the horde night, honestly. Uh, once it decides it wants to come along, I think we're going to be good. So, let's see. Um, we need our cameras here. Yeah, motion sensors is what I want to do. So, let's kind of figure out how I want to do this. Uh, so, I do have some frames and stuff so we can work on like one section and see how it looks then. Um, I need to look at how to make pressure plates as well. So, a pressure plate um, right here is a trigger plate. Here we go. Uh, forged iron, so forged iron mechanical parts and electrical parts, and it's made on a workbench. I probably need to make a second workbench, honestly, um, just to break up the crafting a little bit. But for now, we're okay. So let's go and grab our shovel here. So yeah, what I'm thinking then is, this is where the door's going to be, right? So let's go and have a think. The door's going to be facing this way. And what I want to happen is the door to open when a zombie stands here. Or when I when I am directly above it, I want the door to open and then close when I'm off the other side, right? So I think this is the point where we're going to need to dig it, because uh, the security camera is actually going to go right there. So if I do this, like, we're going to go down here, and we're get, I guess we're going to have to frame this all out. Oh, look, we're actually down to a stone level here. Okay. It's going, oh, there's actually a coal node here. Nice, this actually makes a, a decent coal mine. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just dig out this little bit here then, and work our way down, and then we'll frame it up and do what we need to do. Um, okay, let's make sure. Here we go. So this one. And that one. Okay, so we're going to need to dig down here. Oh, that's another coal node, I think. Nice, so we've actually found um, also, as well as a digging area, to get clay, we found a coal mine. That's pretty good. 
And then this one. There you go, so dig all that out. Excellent. Okay, um, and then what we can do, so the, the cross section kind of thing is what I'm thinking of, is we'll have a frame. So this is how I'm thinking, right? So we're going to have a set of frames here. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then, hang on, let me kind of do this so I come out. And then what we're going to have is on the top here, we're going to have some wood bars. So it's going to do bar. So wood bars. So let's just have one for now. That's what I need, just, just the one. Uh, so wood bars can be here. Uh, and where is the... where did it go? Where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? I just crafted it. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so then the wood bars. So I'm not going to upgrade this yet, because I kind of want to just kind of set it up for now. So then the wood bars are going to go like this look. And then inside here is where we have then the motion sensor inside it. Right, so that's kind of how I'm thinking we can do it. Um, now, I don't need all the sides to be kind of as detailed, so we don't need to do all six, we just need to do a few. Okay, so both of these are cool nodes. It's going to take a little bit longer to dig out, that's fine. So this side can come out here. And this one. Right there. There you go. And then some right here. So yeah, this is going to be like the, the bit that's kind of reinforced up. So yeah, I might upgrade all the sides apart from one for now, and then we can use... we can do that later. Um, so yeah, I need to upgrade this bit. Uh, how are we going to do that? Hang on a sec. I also got to figure out a place for a relay as well. So there might be... Um, maybe there'll be a spot for a hidden relay as well in here. Which could go just like directly under it or something. Yeah, we could have a relay like here. Um, which can then relay it over. That could work. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. But for now, yeah, we'll do this and upgrade everything. So we need our hammer again. So let's see. So we can do something like this. So we'll do this into wood for now. I guess I'll do it into cobblestone down here for now. Now I'll do the sides in cobblestone as well. And this one. And then this one. And this one. And then this one cobblestone as well. And then finally we can do this guy as cobblestone as well. And then we're going to get our motion sensor here. And I'll place this guy... Can I place you on the floor? Can I get advanced rotations for you? No. Okay, so the motion sensor. I don't know if the motion sensor can go upwards. We'll have to have to check. Because that's kind of what I want to do is have it go up. So I can't use its preview though to see. Um, so power delay is instant. Power duration is okay. And you can set it for how how long the duration is as well. That's pretty cool. So it's just triggered always. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, then you can set it to like target self, and that's it. Um, self and allies maybe, and then it'll, essentially it'll light up if this works, and then it will only trigger at a certain point. Uh, I probably need to get a generator bank to kind of figure out how I want to position it. Because I, I don't know if I can point it upwards, because that's what I want to do, is be able to point it up. Um, or I could have it in the ceiling and point it down, I suppose, but I don't know. Okay, so why can I not frame jump out of here? That's weird. Okay. Oh, we can. We can. There we go. Just took like a million tries, but we did it. There we go. So we can frame jump out of there. But yeah, that's kind of what I intend, because then as we come to this point, the door then gets triggered and opens, right? So we'll have the door. So if I just put a wooden door in for now, this is what I intend. So we have a, so we'll have a door here. So craft this guy. Um, now, like I said, I don't know how well this is going to work, but it should work okay, I think. So I have a secure wood door, and this guy. Is event it'll, it'll eventually be a um, a steel door or a trigger door, but for right now, it'll be a door like this. And when I step on this, the door will open. Uh, so if I'm right up to the door, does it glitch me through it? Let's see. So I come right here, and the door opens. I can just run through it, and then as soon as I'm through here, the camera won't see me anymore, and then the door will close. Now on this side, 
we can have a pressure plate. So let me just put something. Let me just put something like here just to represent one. Actually, you know, I'll do a. Um, actually, I, I won't do anything. We we just know that this blank square will be a pressure plate, which can then be used as we stand on this door to trigger it, and it will close automatically behind us when we go through the other way. That's kind of how I want to build my entrance up. So I think that's going to be a pretty, a pretty nice kind of thing, and we can also have like lights trigger in the next room with the pressure plates and stuff like that. That's going to be that's going to be a really nice little thing to try. I think. So yeah, kind of working on that um, as we go. But yeah, I think we need to build another workbench because yeah, I think we kind of need one. Uh, so wrench, claw hammer. Let's go and grab those. Um, let's get an, let's get another workbench um, on the go because that will allow me to build some more of these electrical devices and test if they work. So it's going to take four minutes to do. Because, yeah, I need to build another generator. Well, no, I didn't need a generator bank, actually, because I got one right here. I do have an engine to power this thing as well, right? Uh, there's some gas. I swear I had an engine in here. There it is. Yes, yeah, so I have that, and let's get my wire tool. I just want to check if I can point the camera in the direction that I want it before I go ahead and say, yeah, this is the final design that I want to use. Because if I can't point the camera the right way, then, well, then we're, then we're screwed, right? So, yeah, i got to make sure that we can do it. So let's come down here. I like this is the light source as well. Oh. I hear somebody. Let's get my um I wonder if it's a screamer. Could be. Okay, oh there you are. Okay, you're coming this way, so she's kind of walking past. I wonder if there's more of them. I don't know. Nice. She's down. Well, one shot on the head and that's it. Then more of them? Now she's just kind of like wandering along. And any more coming? Oh, there are. Hello. Okay, here we go. Okay, reload this thing. Yeah, there's a few coming here. And he's down. He's down. Anyone else? Someone in this corner here. Yeah, I see you. Nice. Okay, so it doesn't quite kill the egg straight out, but it's close enough. Okay, coming you. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, let me kind of move back this way a bit. Have him come down here. Hey, go over this way. Come on. So walk, walk, walk across again. Oh, this way. Get off my base. There you go. Yes, this thing is actually pretty good. I think with sneak damage, this thing will be amazing. Um, okay, are there any more coming? Or was that it? I think that was it. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably all of them. No one in there. Can I, can I get this block from over here? No, it doesn't. Didn't get it. That would have been cool if I could like snipe zombies from all the way over here in that base. That would be really cool. Okay, so that's nothing really I can do there. But let's go ahead and do what I was going to do then. So let's come down here real quick. Um, and yeah, let's go and just put a generator bank down here. See if I can get the security camera system thingy up and running. So if we get a generator... I'm going to put this guy... For now, just put it right... Actually, let's, let's find a spot where the generator will be actually useful to have. Uh, and we can connect it out from there. Because the, yeah, the generator is going to be... Yeah, actually, we could have it right next to it, I suppose. And then connect it along. Because, um, yeah, then we, could, then we could use some relays in the side. So, yeah, we might have, like, an underground access point from below. Um, which could be handy. Yes. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Uh, if we're going to make this work, we need to be able to access it from underneath, from the back side of the base. Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll do. So, let's see. I need... Where's my shovel? Where is my shovel? There it is. One shovel. Okay, so dig this out here. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make... Um, we'll go ahead and make a second section right here. Okay, so we're going to chop this up. And this one. And it's going to be like a room where we have our generator in, and then we make a we'll make a stairwell down, I guess, or something to to the lower level. So let's dig this out here. So for now, I'm just going to make like a, a very crude a very crude passageway down. Okay. And my mouse decided it wanted to freeze on me, but that's okay. It usually does it anyway. Okay. So I have to dig out some stone right here as well. There you go. So then we'll start going down. So it's just regular old stone here. 
There you go. And then we'll dig down from here. Excellent. And we'll dig, do one more. Right here. And then we can do one more here. And then we should be in line to set up a small room under here with our generator bank in. And then we should be able to kind of dig along and be able to make connections like that. Uh, which should be good. Okay, so we can dig this out. And this one. Okay, that's also gravel right there. And then we dig across here. There's our cobblestone right there. And right here, so dig out some coal. I'm really glad we're finding coal here though, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so it takes slightly more hits to destroy, but then as you can see we can kind of access this area. Just going to destroy this one. Okay, there we go, so now we can access here. So yeah, I think we need to set up a room kind of behind this area. Um, and then we should be able to kind of get in here and see. So maybe these cobblestone blocks aren't going to be required. Let me let me take this out, actually. These cobblestone ones are not going to be required. We're going to require them on the sides instead. But yeah, like I said, I need to test this works anyway before we go ahead and do anything. So let's go ahead and take these two out here, for now. Um, but yeah, we're kind of like right below here in a special section on the side. Okay, there we go. One. Okay, so now what we can do then is have a generator bank somewhere around here. Um, I guess we'll have a generator bank behind this thing, so if I go ahead and replace these wood frames in, because yeah, we'll, ac we'll access it now from underneath here instead, which A, will make it more secure, and then B, means it's easy to maintain as well, because we need we need a, like a maintenance area that we can get to, but the zombies can't at first. Um, so yeah, that, that would make sense. Um, I th at, least, at least in my head it makes sense. In, in your head it's probably like, dude, what are you on about? You suck. Just just stop. <laughs> just, just stop, okay? Just do everybody a favour. Stop building. Stop talking. And die! Um, okay, so let's see what we've got here. So then we can take our shovel. Again. Yeah, I definitely need this guy. Right, then we're going to dig this out here. And this one here. Okay, and then we'll dig these two, and then we're going to have a housing area for our generator, which is going to be pretty much right here. Let's put the two wood frames in here, upgrade those to cobble as well, and then if I can, it's going to let me look down. My mouse always freezes, I don't know why. Okay, and then what we can do is dig one down here. So dig down there, and then we'll shove a frame here, and then the generator bank is going to sit on top of that. At least now we know a, a more permanent location for it. Then right here we'll dig out here, and then this one right here, and we should be good. So then we go one and two, and then these two can be upgraded to cobblestone. There we go, very good, and then this one. Nice. Okay, so in here is where we house the generator. So let's go and put that guy down now so he can be out of our system. So you can sit here. Oh, wait, you're a wood frame, not a generator. My bad. Okay, so generator right there. On top of that, we place a frame because we really don't need anything else here. Excellent. So now we have a frame right there and the generator right there. So the next thing we can do is connect up a connect up a wire to this and the camera and I just want to test it works. So let's go in the generator first and place the engine and refuel it. Okay, then we'll turn this guy on. Currently it's using zero watts but that's not going to be for long. I don't know how many of the cameras use. They use five I'm guessing. Yeah, five watts from this guy. So we're going to grab this guy and put him here. Then I should be able to tilt this upwards. Oh perfect, yeah, so if I tilt this up here that I can make it so it only sees right there. As far about as far as I can turn it upwards. Um, I think it can see through the block behind it as well. I think it's kind of like X-raying. Um, yeah, it's kind of a problem, but I guess if I put it up like this, then it's only X-raying the block to the side of it. 
I'm not really seeing anything behind. Yes, yeah, so if I do that, I'm pointing this up here. Let's see if I can trigger it now. Um, yeah, so I come here. Does it see me? Okay. So yeah, it doesn't seem to see me here, but. Yeah, it sees me there. Okay, so now I want to try then if we can. Um, let's see if I can make a light turn on. Um, let's see if I got any lights I can use because I want to do a little experiment to see if this is going to work as I intend it to. Because um, if it does work with lights, then it'll work with doors just fine. Um, so let's go and grab this guy because I need to see when the lights are going to turn on so that I know what flaws this potential design could have, right? Uh, okay, right, yep. So let's get a light here. I'm just going to see if this light will trigger when I expect it to trigger. Okay, so we're going to come here, and then I'm going to put a light uh, right here. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to get the we have to get the electric what, the security camera right there to trigger that light. And I don't know how I can. I wish you could do this through bars, but I guess you can't. So I have to chop it out and connect it directly. Just for now, it won't, you won't see this in the end, but for now I just want to do a little experiment. Okay, so I can jump on the camera, go to the light. Right, so now, uh, let's put the bars back on. So wood bars, again, so bars are a pretty simple way to just test things out. And they're cheap as well, so we can go ahead and do a little bit of testing with them. And let's see if this is going to work, right? So if I put this here, and uh, we're going to go advanced rotations like this. This should now trigger the light when I'm here. Uh, or does it not do that? Okay, it does not trigger the light when I'm here. Hang on. So that is no longer... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there's, it activates when I'm here, right? So yeah, if the door's closed, look. I stand here. A little bit temperamental. It's a little bit spunky. But I've got to stand here for it to trigger. And it turns off, right? Yeah, so it, it does work. It will, it will trigger the door to open most of the time. Yeah, it's kind of kind of a bit clunky. I've got to be like on the left side of it to make it work. Okay, so let me see here. So I'm going to adjust this somewhat to make it better. So maybe I have to maybe I had to adjust it to. It could be the wire getting in the way as well, but maybe I have to adjust it to there, directly up in the middle. Maybe that'll make it do it. Yeah, cause it does it there if I'm stood in it. Let's see if this does it this time. Okay, yeah, that is... So if I'm stood here... Yeah, if I'm stood right against the door, it will trigger. Perfect. So I think that's everything I need to see. So if I open this door and close it... Okay, yeah, it can see me through the blocks. So yeah, if I'm stood here, it can see me through it. Which is a problem. So I need to figure out how to avoid that, and the way I think to avoid that is to literally just place... Once I place a plate here, it might not be an issue. Because, um, yeah, I only want it to see me if I'm stood on the thing, right? I don't want it to see me here, which you currently can. Okay, well the trigger only lasts like a second, right? Or it lasts as long as I'm stood in the thing. And it goes off. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit of a weird thing, so I might need to change the trigger on it. But yeah, it seems to be working somewhat reliably, kind of. But yeah, I don't want it to trigger at all while I'm here. I only want it to trigger when it's on the one side. So what I should do, let me just try with a wood plate here. Or like a, a catwalk, because that seems the more reliable. This is the more reliable thing until I can make a pressure plate. Okay, so yeah, even with the plate, it can still... It can still detect through blocks. Which is an odd... An odd conundrum that we find ourselves in. Um, unless, but it can, of course, it can see me through them. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's hit this out real quick. Um, so maybe if I make a pressure plate, though, that will be that will solve the issue. So we do have a workbench now, so I can go and put this down. Uh, although this has probably finished making the grenades now. Yeah, it has. So let's go and make a pressure plate here, um, which is going to require some forge down, which we have, I think. Um, and it's going to require electrical parts as well. So yeah, let's make a let's make a pressure plate and just see. 
so a trigger plate here we go so one of those wow I take a minute each wow that's a long time but yeah this is kind of what i'm intending to try right so we're going to try we're going to have it so that i come down and it only open the doors when i say it should but right now it's kind of just doing whatever it feels like it's, it's triggering right here and i think it's because it's seeing me through this block um so yeah if we have yeah i think the catwalks once they are in yeah, once the catwalks are in, I think they won't see me so easily. So if I upgrade this to iron... I wonder, yeah, if I do upgrade this to iron, will it stop it from seeing me then? No, it doesn't. Uh, unless I have two of them? Does two of them stop me from being seen? I don't know. Um, and I placed the light down without meaning to. Let's go and just smash that up. Uh, unfortunately, it only gives you four iron back, but there you go. Uh, yeah, let me, let me just try placing two of these. No, it still sees me. So when I when I get to this point, it will see me and open the door, regardless of where I am. But yeah, I need like a, fa a, f a fail-safe method to do it, because right, it won't trigger for zombies trying to run this way, so I could do it the other way, and it'll be just fine. But yeah, right now it's, it's also triggering for that, which is a problem. So yeah, this is not going to work as quite as well as I thought, but you know what? It's clunky, it's kind of unreliable. I like it, so we're still going to do it. Because why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way in here. Because yeah, this should st it should still work. You know what I mean? So it's kind of clunky, kind of a little bit crazy. But it should still work. I'm thinking if I move the entire contraption along one, it would be absolutely fine. That's gonna be very expensive to move across. Because um, yeah, to to do that, I have to take out all this and try it again. But yeah, it's seeing me from here. So yeah, it looks like there's some. Oops. Well, you know what? I destroyed it anyway, so we may as well just move it along one and try that. <laughs> Whoopsie. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, there you go. I completely uh, screwed that up. Okay. Okay, oh, I hear a zombie coming. Hello. He's, he's coming for me. He's coming for me now. Some annoying, some annoying bugger. Where are you at? There you go. Oh, I see. I see arms. I see some arms. Okay. Oh, you're trying to jump on my wall. Okay, I didn't. I didn't intend that. Okay, I guess I'll just set you on fire. Okay, I have a feeling that we're going to try and pile on my wall here. Okay, we'll go. In. There you go. Okay, we're going to try and get him legs. So you should be able to kill you eventually. Okay, hang on a second. You are just annoying. Okay, so this is a potential weakness of the base right here. Just go away, would you? <laughs> Stupid zombie. Um, okay, yeah, so we're, we're going to go ahead and switch this up a little bit then. And instead, we're going to move it along one block. I think then if we move it along one block, I should be able to make this work better. Okay, so then this iron bar is going to come out. Then we're going to put down some frames right here. Wish I had more room in my hotbar, but there you go. So put down some frames here. Okay, here we go. So frame and frame. And then we have to do more digging work now. Unfortunately, yeah, this, this is why I was saying it's expensive to move. Uh, but there you go. It is what it is. Okay, that's stone. That is not stone, so that's fine. That is stone. That's not. Okay, so let's dig out all the non stone. Okay, a lot of this is coal, unfortunately, so it makes it even harder to break through and do what I want. I wish it was all, like, dirt and gravel here, but it's not. But, you know, that's fine. If it's not dirt and gravel, it's not dirt and gravel. Um, okay, so we can do this, and I guess we're going to dig this here, and this here. And the same right here. Well, I think this is stone. Yeah, it's kind of a mix of stone and gravel here, so dig this one and dig this one. So, yeah, let's try this. See, this way it's better. So, once we open this guy up here... Um, and dig this guy out here. We can go ahead and do these two and these two. And then upgrade these like this. I guess we'll just do it towards for now because we might want to move it again. Alright, so now let's go and get our uh, camera again. 
So I do luckily have a second one of these. They take a long time to make, but luckily I have a second one. Um, so let's grab this guy. And then the pressure, the camera can go. But actually, no, what I probably want to do is put it this way around, right? Because then I can connect this guy up with the wire tool. So let's go and grab the U. Connect you with the wire tool. Then connect you with the light. And then point this guy upwards. And if I do it in such a way... Like that. Okay, so then we can point it upwards like this. And then it should only see me once I'm above it now. Alright, so let's see if this method potentially works better. Okay. So now it sees me when I'm there. And then even we can have the door on the other side, I think. Because it doesn't see me here. So yeah, now... What I should be able to do... Let's take this guy out. Uh, and maybe, maybe relocate the bars as well. Yeah, we can swap the sides here now, and this will work better. So the door is going to go on the other side, so let's go make a couple more bars in the door just to kind of test this theory out. Um, actually, I need three more wood bars, so let's make three, and then the door. Let's see if this works. So then we get another wooden door here. So then the bars this time are going to go here and here. The door is going to go right here. There you go. If I stand here, if I come over here, the thingy doesn't see me. Come out here. It does. Okay, so yeah, it sees me at this point. Like from right here, it will see me. So then if I put the bars over it, let's see here. So if I put bars on it. Well, actually no, let's get the let's get the pressure plate in first and then test that. And then if that works, then we've got a we've got a working solution. And then what we need to do is invest into advanced engineering. Um, which I think is gonna be advanced engineering four, right? So advanced engineering four we need. Let's see. So, investor. Um, power tools. Okay, so tarts for insurance. So let's just chat where it kills. Um, and then the last one. Let's do a uh and crucibles to forge steel. Trap kills. Um, okay, so it looks like it might be level four on in the inventor one. So, yeah, that's going to require a few levels to get. But I think if we can do that, that's going to take. That's going to be everything we need after, after that point. So, that could be kind of good. So there's a battery bank here. Hang on a second. So how am I going to work this? I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work, honestly. Um, so what do I want to do? So I can't get the auto door yet, but... Oh yeah, my pressure plate. That's what I wanted to get. So let's grab my pressure plate here. My trigger plate, I should call it. Because, you know, this isn't Minecraft. It's, uh, it's not a trigger plate. It's a pressure... It's not a pressure plate. It's a trigger plate. Here we go. Can't use Minecraft terminology here lest we get uh, completely destroyed. Okay. So then what we can do, that will trigger this. So then... The way we can make this work then, to do the doors, is we'll have it go from the generator, to the camera, to the trigger, to the light. That's how we'll do it. So let's rewire this a little bit. This now goes to the trigger, and that now goes to the light. There we go. So this trigger is still, this thing still has pass through. So if we come through here, yeah, this, this now takes one more as well. But now, if I stand on it, it'll turn it, it'll open it. And then this thing we can uh, power delay, power duration, yeah. So if I do this, it'll keep the door open for a second. And now we have a, an automatic way to open the doors. There you go, so we come here, and then I think we need to set this to one second as well. Maybe two seconds. Okay, and then, as soon as I come here, this triggers opens the door, and then closes it. There we go. So then as all I have to do literally is put a door here, and it will deal with it. That is awesome. I could probably set up a second... Yeah, I could probably set up a second motion sensor to, to check whether there are zombies here, and then shine a light on them if there are. Or set or like sound an alarm, I guess. Which would be pretty cool. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I'm kind of liking how this is going to turn out. Um, so yeah, all I need to do right now is literally get a bar and put it like this and then we can literally run straight over it look at that nice so we come here go straight through it and then it triggers off nice all right so let's go ahead and get our steel pickaxe in and take out this thing uh, this little iron thingy here i know i wasted a little bit of uh, resources by doing this but it's kind of worked out for the best so i'm definitely glad we tried this let's go and take this guy out because this isn't needed 
But yeah, I think we've got a nice little um, a nice little defense system. So as soon as that automatic door is ready, we can go ahead and put that in, and then we're going to have a way to stop zombies from coming in. We can do that like a few times down the line. That should be awesome. So there we go. Forget that, and then it closes. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I need I might need to set the trade layer a little bit less. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And if I do stand here, it can open the open the door. Okay, like the power delay is a little bit odd. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we can literally make a one-way system that does that. That is awesome. So yeah, so now essentially, if zombies come this way, they won't see me. Uh, well, they won't get seen by the camera, so the door won't open. The door will only open if I step on the plate and open it. So I'm stood here and I come down to it. Yeah, I got to be careful of the plate there on this on this section. So yeah, if I'm trying to shoot through the bars here, it's gonna I'm gonna have to be a bit careful. But still, that works really good. That works really well. Okay, that's a, that's a nice little um, nice little defense I think idea I think we've managed to get here. So yeah, I'm liking that. So let's go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do the flooring for this section here. So I think we're going to need to do that. So let's go and dig this out and put some stuff down. And once I've done that, I think, guys, we're going to be at a good point to go ahead and end the episode off. And then in the next episode, we'll have the Horde Knight, which is going to be really, really fun. Um, and I guess what I'll do is, off-camera, I might just kind of try and replicate this a little bit um, down the line. But yeah, what I really need to do is invest into the, the perk that's going to allow me to get all the doors and stuff. Which I know is the next level of advanced engineering. Unless, of course, we find a schematic, but I don't think we're going to... I don't think we can find that one. I think that one is literally a loot only. Okay. And these guys are going to have a floor as well. And this one. And... Oh, and we don't want this. Oh yeah, we do want this one right here. Alright, so let's do that. And we're good. Cool, so then we get frames. And we'll put these guys all in here. And I think we're kind of working on a pretty cool little entrance way. Um, so then we need some stairs that are going to come down. So we do have frame stairs, I believe, that we can use. So let's go and do that. So yeah, I'll make like a, I'll try and make it like all enclosed and everything. I can. Where are the stairs anyway? And the wedge stairs. So they're regular stairs. So those kind of stairs. Hang on, let me just type in stairs. Maybe I got to build the actual block. Uh, wood stairs. Yeah, these is an actual block here. So we want two of those. Okay, so then these guys can go here, like this, and okay, we need a frame there, because apparently I dug out one too far, but that's fine, like this, and then like this, actually, let's go and upgrade that first, into coalstone, and then we'll put that into wood here, and then we can upgrade all this to coalstone here, like that, and we're good. Nice. Alright, so we'll upgrade all those and then turn on these into Carlson as well. And that will be up. Alright guys, well I think guys at this point, now that we've kind of gone ahead and done some more work on our entryway, I think we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So I think what we're going to do guys is going to go ahead and uh, end it off all here. Um, and in the next episode guys we're going to go ahead and get ready for the Day 21 Horde. And we're going to fight them. And I think that's going to be awesome. So yeah we're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode guys. So for this one guys thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then. Bye.